I'm Jonathan, and I'm the Dungeon Master for Nat One Heroes. Now, recently, I've shared that I was creating a Dungeons & Dragons actual play series. It's been fun so far, and my players and I have really clicked. We're making a really cool story together that I'm insufferably proud of. The only thing putting a damper on it right now is that every time I tell friends and family about it, I get the most horrible words for any content creator to hear. I don't know what that is. First of all, thank you to everyone who is honest enough with me to say that. Second of all, you're all terrible, and I love you. More to the point, Dungeons & Dragons is a game. It's not a video game, but it has inspired some. Specifically, it's a tabletop role-playing game. Role-playing meaning that the players who play it take on roles that exist within that game's system. Tabletop just referring to the location that it's typically played at. Uh, admittedly, there has been a shift over to virtual tabletops recently for obvious reasons, and keep those in mind if you're interested in playing yourself. Now, there's one player whose sole job is to make sure that everyone is having fun, and that is the Dungeon Master. Not every Dungeon Master will agree with me that that is the role of the Dungeon Master. Some people think that the role of the Dungeon Master is to create a challenging experience for the players, or to create an immersive world for the players to enjoy, or just to provide them monsters to slay. And those are all valid because fun means different things to different people. So I can only talk about my own table when I'm referring to these things. Keep in mind that as I talk about this, I'm talking about my own table. At my table, I'm in charge of everyone's fun. I'm in charge of the player's fun, the audience fun, and even my own fun. So to facilitate that, I draw on three core rule books to make sure that I'm just doing the best I can. The player's handbook, tells me and the players what their characters are capable of. And I might add a few in additions to that, but that's not important at the moment. The monster manual gives me a core book of monsters to draw from that I can throw at my players and use for inspiration to create my own monsters. And the dungeon master's guide gives me information to tie all the books together and provides me with resources for creating my own content. I describe the situation, the players tell me what they want to do, I tell them what die to roll or dice, they tell me the number they get, and using the number, the rules, and my own judgment, I determine what happens. We rinse and repeat, and from there, a story emerges. Being honest, even this is an oversimplification. Largely, it's a game of imagination. It draws inspiration from popular culture, Arthurian legend, myths, and folk tales. Even silent movies, or in my case, just Wikipedia binges. If you're interested and want to understand Dungeons & Dragons, just see if there's a group around you who's looking for another player. It's like Texas Hold'em in that regard, you're never going to really understand it until you've played a few hands. And like any game, certain rules apply. Uh, be sure to be kind and considerate to your fellow players, bring a snack for the table, and always check to see if your dungeon master accepts bribes. And if any of my players are watching, I like a dry cappuccino. And keep in mind that the way I view Dungeons & Dragons is not necessarily the way that other dungeon masters are going to view Dungeons & Dragons. And the goal is to play a game with them, not necessarily to play a game with me. Uh, I sincerely hope that you have fun. I hope that you take a look at this. It's a wonderful hobby. And if you want to see how I handle a game, go ahead and check out Nat1 Heroes in the link description below.